Hi, Hub Archer here along with Associate Editor Dan Parr as we continue to roll through all 32 NFL teams with our previews of the 2012 regular season. We've got the Oakland Raiders now. and You know, Dan, a, a very curious, puzzling kind of offseason. They were left in pretty difficult shape from the Hugh Jackson mess. You get a new GM in Reggie McKenzie, and he brings in Dennis Allen as the head coach, which was a surprise to a lot of people. And then you start adding players who aren't exactly household names. No, the hands were a little bit tied in terms of salary cap space, and you mentioned the deals that was made to get Carson Palmer last year by Hugh Jackson. Philip Wheeler is a linebacker who has had a fairly nondescript career so far, but they really are excited about what he's bringing to their defense in terms of athleticism. And we have to mention Darren McFadden, who missed nine games last season. Getting him back in the fold, your most valuable player, arguably, that's a huge addition. Now, you lost a couple players who are going to be situational guys with their new teams, but their new teams are playoff contenders who are thrilled to have them. Cameron Wimbley was a very productive pass rusher for Oakland, and I think that's one of the biggest question marks for this team. Where will the pass rush come from without him? Michael Bush, a great compliment to Darren McFadden, who has struggled to stay healthy, missing games in every season he's played. Now with the Bears, uh, the depth behind McFadden, I think, is a very big concern for the Raiders. All right, so is it just too soon post Al Davis to be excited about this team, or are there reasons for optimism? Well, you look in the AFC West, there's no one dominant team. I think we all agree on that. And then you look at the strength of this team, it's in the trenches, which may bode well for them in the long term. I think they have a good, pretty solid young offensive line, and on defensive line, you have guys like Richard Seymour and Tommy Kelly who can still get it done, and young players in Lamar Houston that are coming along. You, know, you mentioned the division. All four of them were within a game of each other last year, so what are the reasons for concern that they can't do that again? Well, Carson Palmer, I think, may be in a little bit of a decline now. There's a young receiving core. Who steps up there? Does Darius Hayward Bay, Denarius more do they take another step or are they guys that just aren't quite ready to be the starters and guys that you can count on every play poor run defense last season it's a very similar front seven that has to get a lot better i'm not sure it will with the same cast you know unfortunately for the raiders the preseason prediction poll says six and ten and i'd say nine out of ten guys had them last in the division it's going to be a tough division for them this year we're looking at all 32 nfl teams preseason hopes as we kick off 2012 we've got the reports right here for every one of them at profootballweekly.com